boys and girls, we're going to work on some three-dimensional figures. And I would like to introduce you um, to my friend here. So who knows what this uh, shape is called? Alex. Rectangular prism. Okay, so what is it called, everybody? Rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism. So we're going to be working in some of these shapes today. We're going to do a rectangular prism. Before we do, I want to go over some vocabulary. Each one of these parts right here. So we have one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. What are those called, Nathan? Faces. Faces. So on a rectangular prism, Brianna, are you able to tell me how many faces does this rectangular prism have? Six. Six, okay? Front, back, left, right, top, bottom. So this is a rectangular prism. Before I cut this out and it was flat on a piece of paper, it was a one-dimensional figure. And it looked something like this right here. You'll see in your book that that is referred to as what's called a net. N-E-T. So what we're going to do today is we are going to be given some net. And then what we are going to do is we are going to cut on all the solid lines. So don't cut here. All around the outside, do not cut these. These are the tabs. That's where you're going to fold it. So this is a cube. And if I can borrow Nathan's Rubik's cube, this is what a cube is going to look like. A cube is going to have all the same length and width. Okay? This is what it looks like before we fold it up and make one of these. All right? He's got faces. So each one of these squares is going to be a face. In the, in the case of a cube, the cube also has six square faces, and who can tell me what these parts of the rectangular prism are called? Do you remember, Karen? Edges. 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 So who can tell me, counting and looking at this, how many edges would this have on it? Twelve. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right? Then later, when we come back, we're going to take our cubes and we're going to try to figure out the surface area. So, how many at home have worked on surface area? Okay. So, before next week, we have to learn surface area and we have to learn volume. Okay? Are you guys ready to make some shapes? Yes. yes. All right. So you can go ahead and turn it off.